Hi, so here I am, sat up on the roof on a lovely sunny day. Um, I don't particularly want to be up on the roof, but it just so happens we had a massive downpour. Uh, after effect of storm, whatever it was called. Um, <clears throat> and we discovered we had a leak in our family room. Um, so, yeah, that was nice. It was uh, not a massive leak, but it certainly showing you could clearly see it through the ceiling. So I needed to come up and investigate. And sure enough, it is a mess. The whole roof is an absolute mess. So it's lasted, what, three years, I think, since the, I sacked the builders off. And um, yeah, it pretty much wants completely redoing. It was done with GRP over, I think it was an OSB or ply. And essentially, I think it's basically become completely delaminated and the water has got in and that's obviously progressively been soaking through and uh, rotting the, the, the plywood or the OSB because there's certain areas especially where the water's come through below that it's just completely spongy now I've come up with the, um, all the great intentions of putting some blackjack on as like a temporary repair because uh, obviously the whole roof is going to have to come off in the, um, in the summer I guess and uh, redo it. This time I'll be doing it myself because obviously you can't trust anyone to do anything because something as simple as putting a flat roof on is too <laughs> complicated for someone to, um, to be able to do. I'll pan the camera around in a minute and you can see it's just an absolute I wish I came up and was a bit more critical of it at the time, but at the time we were, should we say, a little bit wary of the builders and what they would do if uh, if we were to make too much of a complaint. They weren't particularly pleasant come the end, so uh, we were just glad to get rid of them. Um, so I'll pan around in a minute, you can have a look. I don't think there's sufficient fall on the roof because where the joins are, um, which you can clearly see, it's basically the water has just been pooling. Um, well, I'll turn around, you can have a look for yourself. Um, I've uh, swept the roof, got rid of all the moss, and I got rid of the majority of the water because I was trying to basically dry it out before I do anything. But as you can see, there's sort of ridges over the entire roof and uh, not allowing the roof to drain away. And as you can see, it's quite a significant size. And there's just nowhere near enough fall on the roof in order to take the water cleanly away. Uh, that area is not quite as bad, but again, you can see on the end uh, that the water's pooling there, and it's it's not certainly not doing it any good, especially when you consider how flimsy these. Oh look, here we go. <laughs> look at that. That's another one I've just spotted. Look at the state of that. It's just completely disintegrated. So this that they've formed, it's just so flimsy and weak. It's just disintegrated. So that's probably going to be another spot where the water will be coming in soon. Looks like I'll have to try and find some uh, flash band or something just to put over the top, just to temporarily stop that from letting any water inside. As you can see, it's, it's not right, all this water pooling at the edge because there's a slight lip. Uh, and because of the insufficient fall, it can't, it can't drain off. So it's just sat there. And obviously, because of the GRP that was laid by a complete idiot is slightly permeable. Um, if I can find a decent spot. Yeah, like here. I don't know if you can make it out, but there's hardly any coverage there. So that's almost the matting that you can see. So that's what's happened. 
Oh, here we go, look. Dirty great crack. You can see the, um, the gel coat was applied in more than one go because they're two different bloody colours. And it's cracked there, right on that joint. Yeah. So, coming to the channel next year, it looks like I'll be learning how to lay a new flat roof. Oh joy. That'll be fun. Oh well, at least it'll be done my way and it won't <laughs> leak. Anyway, that's the best I can do in the circumstances. Uh, that pretty much covers the area where it was leaking underneath. And obviously water can track anywhere and everywhere. It's funny stuff. Um, but I can't go out shopping for more materials. Um, we don't really have the money to go out shopping for materials anyway at the moment. So yeah, just using up some of that DPM. Hopefully that will at least do something. Uh, and I'm going to have to look at redoing the whole roof, which is going to be nice and expensive. Uh, hopefully I'll be able to salvage some of the boards. They won't all be shot, um, but I'm going to have to tear up all of the GRP, I think. And uh, use good old traditional felt, I think. You know where you are with a bit of felt. Uh, at least then with felt it's easy to repair as well. starting to get cold now so time to get off the roof and get my ass back on the sofa I think and sulk for the rest of the day that's working on the house signing out